I'm excited, but I'm also very scared. Oh, my neck feels great. It's on like a little snap. Okay, well, I haven't. I have a lot of cool stuff and I have not written a will yet. Oh, that one felt kind of good. Oh, there it is. Got Lucy Goose here. Good. Mm. It kind of tickles and it hurts at the same time. Do you have any back pain or neck pain? Uh, it's mostly like this shoulder neck area. That's where all of it is all the time. Uh, so do you have pain every day? Um, no, it definitely comes and goes, but when I do have pain, it's like it'll last for like a few consistent days. I do have like this pain that goes from like the back of my like head, my skull almost, and then it goes like down to like here and it is like crippling sometimes last year it started um i think it was when <laughs> i like slipped and fell down like two of my stairs but i didn't hit anything i think like i like just clenched and like tensed up really tight and then it just like it lasted for three weeks then it went away um but it just felt like you could Feel like something just sticking out of me like my whole muscle and it just felt really like it just felt like I didn't really know like if this was a serious thing or yeah. not but I never really did anything about it mm -hmm. and now I just keep getting the same pain sometimes like if I like just kind of lay it the wrong way for like a minute or two it'll kind of revisit me okay all right have you uh, seen anyone about this pain um, I did see like my regular doctor about it once and he just kind of s brushed it off like it's probably just like a pulled muscle. I just get like worse headaches and stuff like that than that pain is but when it first started it was very bad. Gotcha. Alright, so you have headaches as well. Yeah. And they're worse than this than the neck shoulder pain. Oh yeah, so when I get headaches I do. They hurt. <laughs> they hurt really bad. They yeah. don't last very long, but they come like briefly and just mess me up. Uh, do you have any other conditions that you've been diagnosed with? No. Have you I, ever been? I'm Go always ahead. panicking about it, but I, I never have been. Like, well, sometimes I do. I think it's just I'm nauseous a lot at times. Okay. Like, I just get nauseous over the silliest things. Like, it'll just hit me right. How long have you had nausea for? Oh, my whole life. I've been a nauseous thing my, as long as I can remember. Like, it just, anything would make me nauseous for no reason. Like, I remember, like, I would get nauseous, like, in when we would go on vacations, I would see, like, bright, abstract comforters on the bed, just nauseous. Like, I just, something's wrong. Do you remember that in childhood, like, preteen? Yeah. Okay. I remember, like, since probably from, like, when I was maybe, like, seven till now <laughs> yeah do you remember anything that happened when you were seven that's pretty much as far back as memories go i mean oh no my mom like absolutely sheltered me like no <laughs> like, only child no i'm the youngest <laughs> okay. so head traumas or anything like major um just a nauseous person yeah. but you're but you're you're nauseous with a like a psychological component where like you can just hear things and it makes you nauseous. Yeah, I th I do think and I always am car sick. Like I'm car sick no matter what. Even if I'm driving, I get car sick. So we just kind of, I feel like that's when I noticed it like started happening because I can get out of the car and then I will still be car sick the rest of the day. Mm. It's a very strange cool. thing. All right, so it sounds like we have something to work on. Right. How do you feel about getting adjusted to I'm excited, but I'm also very scared. Okay, looking at the feet first, heel strike mid stance and toe off. I don't see any necessarily overt eversion or inversion. The toes look straight away, no inversion, no eversion, and maybe some pronation, more so on the left. And uh, just a little bit of a, 
Just a little bit of a genuverum on the left as well. The right looks straight up and down from knee to ankle, but the left, there's just a slight angulation of that knee on the left. And looking at the knee on the, on the, uh, looking at the, knee on the left, also see some internal rotation of that knee from the front comparatively to the right. So the feet look straight away, but then from the ankle to the knee on the left, there's just a slight angulation. Okay, is that translating up to the hips? There is a high hip on the left. It looks like during the leg swing, the left leg is coming up a little bit higher. Good. Okay, shoulder is high on the left with a high left mastoid as well. We'll confirm that coming back. Definitely a high left shoulder and a high left mastoid process. Okay, I'm going to touch the bottom of your feet, okay? Okay. All right. Just let this relax. Okay, arches are intact. Slightly less on the right than the left. Go and turn and face the other way. I was scared that that would be that way. Yeah, and then the right side does have a little bit more arc bowing in the Achilles tendon, so maybe some slighter pronation on the left. But because this is the side with the angulation, I would call this the normal side, and this is supinated side. Okay, I'm going to look at the way your pelvis is tilted now, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings here. Okay, looking at the glute fold, it's lower on the right. That means the right hip is point posted back like this, or the left hip is forward. And then looking from the front, the left glute comes out like this more, which means that this is either ASIN and externally rotated or an internally rotated over here. So ASEX left, PIIN right. Why do bones move? Why can't they just stay put? No one's perfectly symmetrical. Here, standing nice and straight. It's good. Definitely a high left shoulder. Some rib torque here. Good. Turn around facing over here this way again. All right. So your clavicle is out here. We need to adjust that. Clavicle adjustment, left shoulder, AC. We'll see what's happening cranial on the left. Okay, okay I'm going to start with a very gentle scan on top of your spine, okay? Okay. I'm going to do a temperature scan on the back of my fingers. Oh, they're cold. <laughs> your left trap is much warmer than anything else in your entire spine and back. Hmm. Oh, it's up there. Now, what does that do? Like, what is, how do you... What does the heat determine? Usually where muscles are working harder. Sometimes when things are restricted, uh, it could be that this one's not releasing heat because this is restricted over I here. Guess that makes sense. The heat can be in excess or it can be a restriction of blood flow. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna push a little bit deeper into your spine. rib here. It's tender, right? Oh, yeah, it doesn't feel very good. <laughs> Rhomboid trigger point here with a rib. <laughs> Put this arm out to the side. Put your right arm out to the side. Okay, push up against me. Just give me a little resistance right here. Yep, just keep pushing right there. Hold it though. Hold it. Make it strong and keep it there. Seven, six, 
Okay, ready? Okay, push up against me right here. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna show you something. Ready, push up against me, ready? Five, four, four, five, hold, go ahead, get, make it strong. Four, five, six, okay? See how those are all strong? Watch what happens when I hit seven. Okay, push up against me. Five, six, seven. Feel that shake? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I didn't even have to push hard. But you can't, ready, watch this though. If I go left, push against me, you'll never be able to, right? But push push against me here, six. See, feel that strength. What the heck? Okay, so C7 is important. One, two, three. Right there, right? Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Fifth trap fiber says T6, L2, C4. It sounds like I'm at the dentist. <laughs> cool. Okay, bring your chin down to your chest. C7 left. A major problem at this point. Everything has felt horrible on that side. I don't feel much on the right. The center up here too. Yeah, that's where that thing is all the time. Right yeah, there. that's it. That's that horrible thing. This is the second occipital fiber. All right, we have some thoracic findings here, so we need an adjustment here at T6 or C6, C7, and possibly C4 as well. We'll see what's happening with the atlas at the top. We definitely have some cranial stuff going on. We're gonna have to stimulate your vagus nerve that may calm your vestibular system enough to help with the nausea. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna pop at your SI joints, okay? All right. Okay, ready, right or left, which one's more tender? Right. Right or left, which one's more oh, tender? Oh, both of them, but right, I think. Okay. Tender? <laughs> yeah, they both kind of hurt. <laughs> they hurt. They hurt very much. <laughs> that tickles, sorry. <laughs> that tickles really bad. Oh, wait, oh. <laughs> that hurts. It's tender, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna see if uh, your pelvis is balanced, okay? So what I want you to do is, without bending your knee, lift this entire leg up in the air. Like that? That's good. Down. Left. Down. And your hips like this. Tender. Mm -hmm. Tender. Mm. How about this side? It's not tender over there, right? No, <laughs> it's just tickles. Right. But that hurts. Yeah. Same thing up here, right? Yeah. That sucks. How's that feel? Not bad. Not as bad, right?
gentle breathing. Good. I hate that. <laughs> Just breathe it out. Breathe through it. You're doing good. Two more breaths. Good. One more. Oh, that hurts. Do you feel a temperature difference between my right and left hand right now? Mm-hmm. My right hand over here on the left side of your head is feeling an immense heat being mm -hmm. released from your heart. You feel that, right? Yeah. I'm trying to say my right ear feels cold. <laughs> this feels colder, right? Yeah. Okay, but this heat release over here is good. It's also telling us that we really need to work on how these trap fibers are attaching to the skull and some of the neck muscles mm. are also attaching to the skull. All right, I'm gonna lower the, your waistband just a little bit so I can get to the trigger point. Okay, breathe. <laughs> kind of tickles. And it hurts at the same time. All right, take a nice deep, three deep breaths. Okay, there's one trigger point. This is the middle of it right here. We're just going to get through this. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Out. Blow it out. Go let your shoulders relax. Go relax into it. Another breath in. It out. All right, I'm gonna check your tailbone, okay? This is a technique called Logan Basic. So I start here at the sacrum. Okay, I'm gonna trace this down to the coccyx, okay? Do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the first coccyx segment, second, third. Okay, ready? Left, right. Is one more tender than the other? Mm, I'm not sure. I think, ooh, yeah, when you do that, uh, that one right there, right? Yeah. Okay, nice and gentle. So we just hold this fiber, and then this actually matches with what's happening up here. Oh, yay. So these two stress points right here are related, and if we hold both of them in the right direction, then we can ease this tension throughout your entire spine. Probably because of those stairs. <laughs> Ooh. Good, nice gentle breathing. Good, did you hear that? I sure did. Yeah, so as your parasympathetic nervous system is activated, your digestive system starts to work. Yeah, I thought I was just hungry. Well, like you said, I'm in fight or flight. See, things don't move in your gut or in other places that, uh, or in many other places when you're in fight or flight, but when you start to relax, your parasympathetics turn on. The sympathetic nervous system is fight or flight. Parasympathetic is feed or breed. Mm. So your reproductive system, your cycle, your digestive is all related, is all regulated by the parasympathetic. Part of what we're looking for today is to activate your parasympathetics, decrease your sympathetics, get you out of fight or flight. Okay, rechecking, coccyx, right side, left side. Better, same or worse? Uh, it feels a little better. <laughs> Little's good for now. It's more work to do. There's a lot of work to do up here still.
most tender to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think five. Okay, nice and gentle. We're gonna start with this segment right here, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's practice it first just so you can kind of feel what it's like. So you're gonna take a deep breath in. Okay. Good, I'm not gonna push yet, but as you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath out like this gently. Okay. Then when we get to the bottom, we give a little push, okay? Okay, another deep breath in here. And out. Shoulders sinking in. Tiny little cracks. <laughs> okay, deep breath in. Lean back as you blow it out. Breathe, 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 breathe. breathe. <laughs> so weird. So I'm gonna stretch your uh, shoulders up in that direction like that and bring your hips down. And then I'm gonna push in that direction, okay? Okay, what do I have to do? All you have to do is breathe. Okay. okay, you're gonna breathe in, and as you breathe out, we're just gonna kinda go like this and then a little bit further, okay? okay let's give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Gentle, 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 as gentle as I can be. Expecting it to happen. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like, it's not gonna work. Okay, I'm not cracking anything, just trying to relax. I'm just testing the range of motion here. Okay, turn your head to the right. Back to center. Now turn your head to the left. Back to center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Left ear, center. Okay, I'm gonna adjust your neck now. I'm gonna do it super soft, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I haven't, I have a lot of cool stuff and I have not written a will yet. <laughs> so, ooh. Mm, feel that? Yeah, a little yeah. guitar string. Mm. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's a bubble of fluid. Ew, I didn't want to know that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We're going to start off adjusting your occiput. Nice and gentle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to contact your head like this, okay? okay? And then very gentle as you breathe out. We're going to go in that direction, and then I'm going to push like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. Okay, thank you for your trust. I appreciate it. Okay, now let your head shoulders relax here. Good. Following your breath. Good. Gentle, gentle. That was so loud. That was so loud inside my head. That's because it was your head. I know. Okay, now I'm gonna adjust. That didn't hurt though, right? No, it didn't feel like anything. That's good, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to adjust your atlas right underneath of that, okay? Okay. Gentle, gentle. 
Go let your head drop into the table. Let your shoulders drop into the table. Give this a little push in this direction. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Good, loose. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that one felt kind of good. I felt a lot crack. Ooh. I feel like I can already like move my head around better. Which is like concerning how much restriction I had before. Ooh. Okay. Wherever you currently are, that hurts. <laughs> Nice and gentle, just like the other ones, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, breathing gently in breath. Oh, my lungs. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna clear that off. We're gonna <laughs> no. Okay, let this relax here, good. Good job. There it is. Got Lucy Goose here. Good. Oh! <laughs> That was satisfying, but so scary. <laughs> I felt that like down towards my like shoulder blades. They're so cold. <laughs> You're doing great. together hard as you can hold them hard all right first i'm going to take your pulse it's going to help us narrow in where we need to go All cranial stuff here. So first let's check some of the reflexes here. Is that tender? Here. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Let me see your other hand. That one too, right? That one's good? Yeah. Okay, put that arm on. Okay, this one's gallbladder meridian. Oh. <laughs> All right, so this is the reflex point on the thumb, web of the thumb. The other reflex point is the six underneath the six intercostal arch. We find that by going two inches from the belly button. Yours is probably an inch and a half, actually. Is it ticklish? Here, give me, put your other hand on top of my hand. What's that? Why is that warm? How's that warm? It's good. <laughs> this is better in here. Yeah, I'm like feeling like a weird sternum. Like, I don't know, something, when you push up here, mm -hmm. it's like something shoots, like, a it's very mm -hmm. small. Well, your diaphragm is, is attached to something called the central tendon, which comes up and attaches to the pericardium around your heart. So you're feeling a perfectly natural physical connection. Cool. I also want to check the, the pancreas. Right there, tender, right? Mm -hmm. Not too bad? Um, somewhere in there, maybe not in that spot. I just felt it before. It's like deep in the hand. Yeah, it's like right in there. 
Okay, this is the for the pancreas. Then one inch below the xiphoid process. Put your hand on top of my hand. Hydrates, bread, it's pasta. Yeah, I'm Italian. <laughs> it's like all I eat. Take some belly breaths here. Good belly breath. Push your belly out. Like that? Yeah. It's tender, right? Yeah. yeah. That's clear. The purpose of this is to make you cough out that that's in there, okay? Okay. All right, so you're going to take a deep breath in. Okay. Good, deep breath in. And out. Good, right here, turn your head to the left. Got another deep breath in. And out. In. One more time, in, out. Good, now deep breath in. <laughs> Go spit it out. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> I can definitely breathe better without like feeling anything. Okay, deep breath in. Out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> who I heard at that time. It sounded like a little snap. Got this rear thigh right now. Take a deep breath in and out. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, is everything still there? Oh, I saw this. Palatine bone adjustment. Your palatine bone is like way in the back here. This is your maxilla right here. This is the suture. This is the palatine bone there. And we're just opening this segment up. Good. Now we'll do the right side. Here's the suture. And now, this is how we fix your nausea. Close. Just gonna hook right behind the teeth here. And then just like a gentle, open your mouth a little bit, there you go. And then just a gentle traction in this direction. Good, I'm gonna traction in the opposite direction. With my other hand. Good, respiration does the adjustment. Just a couple of breaths before it starts moving. Okay, open your jaw just a little bit. We're just gonna like find your breath and then push in that way just a little bit, okay? Good, just relax as much as you can. It's hard to let your jaw relax right now. But you just wanna like, just like let your whole face go. Just like that. Out nice and gentle. Alrighty, this is a full spine adjustment. I'm gonna use the towel, okay? So this goes like that, you all right with that? Yeah. We're gonna go like this. So I support your neck with the towel. As you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath like this, and then at the end, we pull in that direction, okay? <laughs> and out. Good, sinking in, close your eyes. Good. Breathe. Oh, that hurt, like, right here. Why? In the middle? It hurt, like, right? Like right here. I think I just like tensed up real hard. I thought I, was, I thought I died. <laughs> that was so scary. Okay. No more of that. Mm -mm. Oh thank God. Good job. <laughs> I like little piano keys. <laughs> oh, that is the worst sound in the world. <laughs> okay. Oh. 
Oh. Very clear. All right, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. Better than I did when I came here, like when I got here. Mm -hmm. Um. How's your neck? Oh, my neck feels great. It feels new, <laughs> new and improved. Um. I really feel like. A big difference in my jaw which is crazy because I did always think that it was like too much to this side I think I just feel like it doesn't feel I don't know I don't know how to explain the feeling it feels weird I feel like I feel like um I needed to like grease up some of my bones and now I feel like they just move effortlessly like I just I feel like just new. I don't know. Like I definitely feel like I had like just before when I was saying like I could just already move my head around so much more after you took care of that like whole thing that was happening back here. I don't even like I don't even have like the same ear problem. Like my ear like not my ear but like this part would always just kind of feel like kinked in a way it doesn't it feels like i can just like whip i because i have a problem with i can't like sometimes i can't even like put my head upside down put up my hair without it like messing everything up i've been flipping my hair over and putting my hair in a bun this whole time since you whatever you did i don't know